All right, in this video, I'm going to see if we can solve this problem right here. Basically, we're being asked what fraction of that entire square is shaded by that pink purpley triangle. So let's get started on this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here a little bit on our little triangle here. And I'm going to I'm going to think of this as a side of 1, a side of 1, a side of 1, which means this is a half and this is a half right there. All right? And so let's see if we could find the um, the lines, the, the equations of these two lines, this line right here and this line right here, and then we'll see if we could figure out where those two lines intersect, all right? And that'll help us get our x value, and then we can find our y value, and then all of a sudden we have our base, which is 1, and we'll have our height, which is um, kind of where those two lines intersect. So let's get started on this. And so with this line right here, what is the slope? Well, I know that the slope is rise over run. So it the rise is up one and over a half. So the rise over run is one over a half, which is equal to two. And if I were imagine this kind of being zero, zero right there, so that means this line is y is equal to 2x. All right, so now let's see if we could figure out the equation for this line right here. So um, well, let's find the slope first. All right, so the slope of that, and I'm going to call this m again, so forgive me, but just roll with it. If we start here, and let's call this uh, 0, 1. So if it, we start here, it means we go down 1 and over 1. So that slope is down 1 over 1, which is negative 1. And so this equation begins with y is equal to negative 1x. And then the b is 1. So we're going to call this y is equal to negative 1x plus 1. Technically, we don't need that negative 1. So I can erase that and just say, all right, there we go. We have y is equal to negative x plus 1. All right, so now we want to figure out where these two lines intersect. So we want to know basically where is 2x equal to negative 1x. Let's do this in green. So we've got where is 2x equal to negative x plus 1. So basically... Where does this line and this line, where do they equal each other? And so when I do that, I'm going to add x to both sides. I get 3x is equal to 1, so x is equal to 1 third. So that's the x value. So now we know that over here, it crashes at x equaling 1 third. And so now what we need to do, and so we know this piece right there is one third. And we want to know what is the height. So basically, we want to know what is the y value uh, when x is equal to one third. And we could insert one third into either of these two equations, and that's going to that's gonna work it out for us. So I'm going to shrink this a little bit, get it out of our way. Oh, well, let's do the, uh, let's do dark green and say, let's start with the simpler one, y is equal to 2x, and we're going to insert one-third for x because of that one-third. And so we get y is equal to 2 times one-third, which is equal to two-thirds. So now we know that y is equal to two-thirds. So we know the height right here is two-thirds. We know the base of the pink triangle is one whole, we now have enough information to figure out the uh, equation or the area of that triangle. Oh, let's do it in blue. So the area of that triangle is going to be 1 half times base times height, which is 1 half times 1 times 2 thirds because the base is 1 and the height is 2 thirds. And then when we do the fancy schmancy math, we get the area of that triangle is equal to one third. And that is the answer to that question. So what is the, what's the fraction of that pink triangle? It's one third. 
Hey, by the way, <laughs> if you haven't, you know, make sure you subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment. I love to hear your ideas for how you solve this problem. Maybe it's different than mine and probably easier than mine. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment as well.